Hypercalcemia is a common electrolyte abnormality defined as a serum calcium level greater than 10.5 mg per deciliter. Common causes of hypercalcemia are primary hyperparathyroidism and malignancy. Symptoms of hypercalcemia are often nonspecific. Severe cases can lead to confusion, coma, or cardiac arrhythmias. Pathophysiology The most common cause of hypercalcemia is primary hyperparathyroidism, which is characterized by excess production of parathyroid hormone from the parathyroid glands. Parathyroid hormone increases serum calcium levels by increasing calcium resorption from bone, increasing calcium absorption from the gut, and decreasing calcium excretion from the kidneys. Other causes of hypercalcemia include malignancy, vitamin D intoxication, sarcoidosis, and granulomatous diseases. Hypercalcemia of malignancy is caused by tumor secretion of parathyroid hormone-related protein, which mimics parathyroid hormone and leads to high calcium levels. Clinical Presentation most patients with mild hypercalcemia are asymptomatic. Symptoms of hypercalcemia are often vague and nonspecific, which include nausea, vomiting, constipation, fatigue, weakness, polyuria, polydipsia, and altered mental status. Severe hypercalcemia can cause more serious symptoms such as lethargy, confusion, coma, and cardiac arrhythmias. Diagnosis. Hypercalcemia is diagnosed by measuring the serum calcium level. Since approximately 50% of calcium is bound to albumin, it is important to note that total serum calcium may not accurately reflect the physiologically active free form of calcium. If you are concerned about hypercalcemia, obtain an ionized calcium level or calculate the corrected calcium based on albumin. Further testing may be necessary to determine the causes of the hypercalcemia. These tests may include parathyroid hormone levels, vitamin D levels, and imaging studies, such as parathyroid scan, chest x-ray, and ultrasound. The degree of elevation in ionized calcium correlates with the degree of symptoms. For example, severe hypercalcemia or hypercalcemic crisis presents with an ionized calcium level of 10 to 12 mg per deciliter, while moderate hypercalcemia presents with an ionized calcium level of 8 to 10 mg per deciliter. ECG findings of hypercalcemia include shortened QD interval, ST elevation, Osborne waves, and bratty dysrhythmia. ECG findings of hypercalcemia can mimic ST elevation myocardial infarction due to shortening and disappearance of ST segment. Management the management of hypercalcemia depends on the severity of the hypercalcemia and the presence of symptoms. Initial treatment for hypercalcemia is intravenous fluids. Asymptomatic patients with mild hypercalcemia can often be managed conservatively with observation and treatment of the underlying cause. Patients with symptomatic hypercalcemia require more aggressive treatment. The initial treatment for symptomatic hypercalcemia is intravenous hydration with normal saline. Normal saline promotes calcium excretion by increasing urine output. Calcitonin can be given to rapidly lower the serum calcium level by inhibiting bone resorption. Bisphosphonates may be beneficial after fluids with consultation of oncology and endocrine. Bisphosphonates, such as pamidronate or zoledronic acid, are more potent inhibitors of bone resorption and can be used in patients with severe hypercalcemia or hypercalcemia that is refractory to normal saline and calcitonin. Other treatments for hypercalcemia include glucocorticoids to decrease vitamin D production, dialysis to remove calcium from the blood, and surgery to remove the parathyroid glands in patients with primary hyperparathyroidism. Hemodialysis can be considered for patients with cardiac dysrhythmias, severe neurologic symptoms, or if large volumes of fluids cannot be tolerated. Prognosis. The prognosis of hypercalcemia depends on the underlying cause and the severity of the hypercalcemia. Mild hypercalcemia that is treated appropriately generally has a good prognosis. Severe hypercalcemia can be life-threatening if it is not treated promptly and aggressively.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.